Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I am sharing four types of Instagram Reel that I think every business owner should be creating on Instagram to get their business in front of more people, grow their reputation, connect with more people, and convert more of their followers into customers. And this first type of Instagram Reel is the growth reel. Essentially, a growth reel is a trending reel. It might be that the audio is trending, it might be that the style of reel is trending. So the way that it is filmed or the content of that reel is some kind of trending idea. It could be both, but essentially it is you jumping on a trend and applying it to your own content. So how do you know what a growth reel is? Well, that comes down to spending a bit of time every day or every week inside of your Instagram feed, having a look keeping an eye on what is trending in Reels. Now, I know you spend time on Instagram. I know that you are there, maybe just to browse, maybe just for fun. I'm willing to bet every single day. So I am saying spend a bit of that time that you are mindlessly browsing through your feed, jump into the Reels feed and scroll through and you will start to notice the same audio come up again and again. You will start to notice a certain type of reel come up again and again that people are recreating and recreating because it's a trend. And when something is a trend, that normally indicates that the content that is being created for this trend is doing really well. And that's why it keeps spreading and spreading and more people keep seeing it and keep recreating it. And that means if you recreate this type of reel, you stand the chance of getting really great reach and engagement and views as well. So let me give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. And I like these examples because while they are growth reels, while they are trending reels, they are also very, very specific to business owners. So you don't just want to jump on a trend for trend's sake. At the end of the day, you are a business, you want to sell more of your products and services to your ideal customers. And that always has to be at the front of your mind when you are thinking about the types of reel to create. So let me give you some examples. I mean, I feel fine. I just cry myself to sleep every night. Yeah, that's totally normal. So this reel uses audio from the Kardashians. I think it's Kourtney Kardashian and saying, I feel fine, but I still cry myself to sleep every night. Now this was a piece of trending audio and the way that a lot of business owners use this audio was they did it playfully. They did it quite tongue in cheek. So they, this audio plays. And then in this example, you have the baby sleep coach saying, when your baby will not sleep at all through the night and insists on sleeping on you all through the day. Now, this was a great example of how this business owner, a sleep coach, got inside the mind of her ideal client. She knows that this is exactly their experience. This is exactly what they go through on a daily basis. And so she is reflecting that back at her followers, at her audience, at her ideal customers and clients. And here is another example. The audio says, I was busy thinking about, and then it cuts to four different beats in that audio. And the way that business owners have been using this audio is you hear those words being said, and then they will add some text over the top that is relevant to them, to their ideal customer. So one example we have on the screen right now is from Maya Nicole, who is an Instagram strategist. And she got inside the head of her ideal clients by saying, Anyone trying to grow their account, be like, what should I post about today? Did I add hashtags to that post? Do people even care what I'm sharing? What if this reel gets zero views? So again, she got inside the head of her ideal client. She reflected these feelings back to them. Really, really engaging, really compelling. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is the trick for you, if you find a piece of trending audio or you see a reel come up again and again and again, and you think, oh, there's clearly a trend here that I want to use within my strategy, what you can do is click on the little square icon in the bottom right hand side of that reel and that will take you to the audio and there you will see all of the other reels that are using this audio. It gives you so much more inspiration and so many more ideas. So here's what I've seen and this is from a candle maker, a candle business owner and she is not doing it from the perspective of her clients and customers, she's doing it from the perspective of herself, life as a small business owner, constantly thinking, did I post all the orders? Have I posted enough on social media? Do I have enough supplies? Have I replied to all those emails? Do you know what you're doing? All of those thoughts that we have as business owners. And so again, you've got a couple of examples, one from the perspective of the customers and clients and one from the perspective of the business owner themselves. And I wanted to share one growth real example that doesn't show the face because I'm always up for incorporating real ideas that 
are faceless as well. So I scrolled down a little bit further on this audio and I found a really lovely example from Amy's bookshelf where she is just panning to different areas on her bookshelf, adding her thoughts and what she was busy thinking about as text over that reel. So you don't have to show your face, not at all. You can look at the idea and then you can apply it to your business, your account and whatever works best for you. Now, nurture Instagram reels are really, really effective and powerful because they build the know, like, and trust factor with your audience. It's your opportunity to humanize your business a little bit, to pull back the curtain and bring your audience into your world. So some real ideas that fall under the category of nurture include day in the life, what your typical morning looks like, behind the scenes of how your products are made, how they're packaged, what that looks like. It could be a behind the scenes in terms of allowing your audience to learn more about you, your journey, who are you, who is this business owner, bring them into your world with little glimpses of day in the life, morning of, behind the scenes. Here are a couple of examples. This is from Natasha from Shine with Natasha, who is an Instagram strategist with a focus on video. And this is such a lovely nurture reel because it allows her followers to get to know a little bit more about her. Now, you might be wondering, what's her love of matcha got to do with her business? The fact is on Instagram, there are really no barriers between you and your business and your followers. It's a really intimate platform and people come there not just to shop for new products and services, but to build connections with their favorite brands as well as their friends and family. And allowing your followers to get to know a bit more about you and the things you love and what makes you tick as a business owner is such a lovely way to peel back the curtain a little bit more on who you are. And that's relatable, that builds a connection. And it's a really great way to start fostering those relationships with people that will hopefully turn into your customers and clients. Now, this example really speaks to the nurture type of reel so well, because it's an example from a wedding invitation business and brand. And this reel is so lovely because it is the founder saying, this is how we thank all of our customers. We have a wax seal on every product we send out that says thank you on it. It really is nurturing. The founder is showing how they thank their customers and reveals a unique part of the packaging process. It gives us that behind the scenes look at how the products are packaged, which is really satisfying and really gives us a glimpse into the world of that business. But it also is saying, I really value my customers, each and every one of them and this is how I show them my appreciation. So this was just a really lovely example of showing a behind the scenes, showing how they do things differently. So what is it about their packaging process that is unique and different? And saying, I do this because I really value my customers. Just such a great nurturing real example right there. The third category of reels you want to create for your business are product or service, awareness and education. So if you're a product-based business, this really allows your followers to imagine their lives with your product in them, on the walls, on them, using it, wearing it, styling it, whatever makes sense for your business. So if you're a service provider or a consultant or a coach, this is where you are going to give your followers a flavor of your expertise, your wisdom, your education. You're gonna give them a flavor of that so that you will better their lives in some small way with a tip, with a little bit of wisdom, with a how-to. You better their lives in some small way and that gets them excited for what could be possible if they invested in your paid products or services. Here's an example from Full Sheer Floral Design. And not only is this such a fantastic reel because it's short, it has a transition almost immediately, it is so rewatchable. That before and after, mwah, it is just such a good reel. And this is the perfect example of imagining your life with a gorgeous bouquet. It's going from before with the bouquet kind of not styled, just the flowers as they are, thrown into a gorgeous vase. And immediately as the follower, I'm thinking, I need that in my home. That is stunning, that is uplifting, that makes me feel good. Let me go and get a bouquet of flowers right now. And plus, I'm seeing how good they are at putting a bouquet of flowers together. So this is the perfect example, if you're a product-based business, of allowing people in a creative way to not only get uplifted and inspired and excited by your product, but starting to imagine and get excited about what your product could look like in their home. A similar example, but one if you're a service provider, is to do a before and after. For example, if you're an interior stylist, you could have an empty room, unfurnished, undesigned, unstyled, and then you click your fingers or you pan the camera or you cover over the camera. And when you do the reveal, 
you show what the room is like finished once you have worked your magic. That kind of before and after is really, really powerful. Here's an example of content strategist Jordan Guyton educating her audience and giving them a flavor of what they can expect if they were to work with her. And she shares the four types of posts she always includes in her content calendar. And the great thing about this reel is she really calls out exactly who she is talking to. So her ideal audience, her ideal clients are entrepreneurs. And this is really great because it's such a lovely kind of how-to educational reel. By giving her audience something tangible to take away and go and implement, this means that when the time comes for Jordan to talk about her paid for products or services, her audience are much more likely to be interested and want to find out more because she's regularly sharing this educational content. She's regularly showing her audience how experienced she is, how much knowledge she has, how much she can help people. And if her free content is that good, then her paid products and services must be even better. So this is such a great example of getting people warmed up to your services if you are a service provider or a coach or a consultant. And last but not least, the fourth type of Instagram reel you want to create as a business owner are the social proof Instagram reels. Essentially, social proof is where you show your audience that other people, other people that look like them, your ideal customers, are loving your products and services. So here's the first example from Alex from Copy Posse. Now I love, love, love this reel because she has given her phone, she has given her platform to one of her happy clients and they have created this reel to talk about the amazing results that they have achieved from working with Alex and investing in her services. To give your reel, to give your Instagram over to your happy customer or client, there is no better advertisement for your products and services than that. And not only is it great to have somebody, an advocate, shouting about how amazing you are on your behalf, but this reel is also really clever because there are transitions, there are outfit changes, it's a really engaging reel in and of itself. Another really simple but effective example is from this product-based business, Woven and & Well. And you can see the postage stamp stickers being printed out, loads of them. And the reason this is so powerful is because it is showing in an indirect way, it is showing this business's audience that loads of people are loving the products. Loads of people are ordering the products. There is huge demand and that signals to the person watching, oh, maybe I need to get in on this. There's a bit of FOMO there, a bit of fear of missing out because if everyone else is loving these products, is if everyone else is investing, Maybe I should be as well. Maybe I'm missing out on something really great here. So I love that example of showing in not a really obvious way that loads of people are purchasing your product. Rather than saying these are all the sales I've made, it's such a lovely way of demonstrating that with all of the postage stamp stickers coming out of that machine one after the other after the other. And that's all for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I would love to hear your ideas for your business in the comments below, any questions you have, or if you do implement any of these ideas, I would love for you to share them with me over on Instagram at Bella Foxwell. I'm always happy to chat and love seeing how these videos can help you with your strategy. Before you go, don't forget to check out these two videos here. I go into much more detail about length and transitions and lighting and all of those good things. Much more of the technical side of reels than this video, which was more about the topics and the ideas. So definitely go check those out after this one. I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.